crew here. We've got Rod Dixon, we've got John. Okay, and you are. All right, Tom. What's up, guys? We're all here on PCTV, historic Main Street Garden Grove, and oh my gosh. You know, you're all very nice gentlemen, but I'm sorry. This is just way too beautiful to ignore. Way better. You can't ignore that. Yeah. Hey, Patrick, when you're done with that, I got to tell you something. Right. Have a great night. Beautiful truck. Nice piece. Love the wheels. I see you with the Dental Life t shirts Wow, ran into Ron Camber, a few people. All right, so here's the 1960 Survivor Cowbug, owned by none other than PC Patrick Comfort. So this is my car. Yep, I built it. This is the car I've been working on and building for a while. And there's Robert. Hey. Hey, and Rick. What's up, guys? You got I'm just the bug doing, back on the road. I got the bug back on the road with a new engine and new exhaust and everything in it. And look at your air cooled for life you HP like that? sticker. That's PatriotCitySticker.com. Right there, you gotta love that. Facebook uh, blocked that one already. Yeah. They already yeah. got it for uh, for uh, All right. copyright. Coming from a land down under, right. coming back the up. Here. Yeah. Oh. He can't, he can't, yeah, he can't have a nice bed. This is too bad with this stick, I can't get low like with the smooth cell. Yeah. 68 right here. Dude, the Stingray, look. I, uh, dude, this car, uh, pure beauty. But you know what? This is not a bad looking car either. Can you imagine this is a 25 year old interior? This interior is 25 years old. Uh, the tweed looks just like uh, Christine's. Yeah, it's yeah. a so fine interior. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, so let's see. We got the band line for this restaurant. This is great. The corner and all the way down. It was at one point all the way around the corner of the building. It went actually all the way early, uh, yeah. earlier today. It was crazy? all the way around the corner. It's just huge. Crazy. I don't know if you can call this Boo Berry or what, but it's definitely Falcon Berry, that's for sure. Great cut out. Oh, speaking of, hi, and hi. How you doing, Russell? I said, we can't really call it a Frankenberry, <laughs> but we can call it a Boo Berry, because it's blue, boo. We'll have to find out what Brian wants to call it. Right, right. I thought of you when I saw this. What's that? Can you read it? How do you know we're real? They're really looking at the car. They're not looking at no cheeky. Oh no, you didn't look at the old VW magazines of the 80s and 90s. We looked I at both. When I saw it, I thought of you. We looked at both. And you saw the cars here, right? My bug's right there. Yeah. Ah, that's dumb. We saw your friend on that uh, roadster down there. My ribs? This is fun. This is a great C10 right here. Sorry guys, having too many friends, having too much fun. There's the Azteca. Dude, this is gorgeous. You know, I really like this truck. This is the one we were commenting on the seatbelt slots the other day on. Look at how clean the dash is. And this, and this it's like a GT style wheel. It's beautiful. It's really That's gorgeous. the same wheel I have in mind. It is? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I really like that style wheel. Yeah. Is it too thin or is it too okay in your hands? I, I don't like it because it is very thin. It's a little thin, huh? That's kind of why I like my bigger wheel a little bit better. I get that bigger. There is Vaughn. Good to see you, brother. So it's a fun night. Of course, we've got the Vaughn Hot Rod in the house. Dude, your toolbox, I still love. I go home and dream about this darn thing, okay? You heard, he's got the greatest story about this toolbox that he, just, he built out of these jerry jugs. And I mean, it's just the coolest and neatest thing. He's got an indestructible painter's box. It's the coolest thing ever. These are fun, but this, it works, right? Or is this one kind of... What does it do? You just a little shifter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Well, there's no clutch. It's almost like a, a little fidget tool. Yeah, you can, you can you're like click it around back and forth. I know I can grab fifth. I know I can. That's pretty cool. I like these. You can cool. sit on your Zoom call. Hey. Yeah. Pretend you're, you know, yeah. Hey, your Zoom PC. Call. <laughs> that, you need this for your bug. Oh yeah. Your deck lift. That's pretty dope. That is yeah. pretty dope. Whoop, wait, 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 wait. I gotta get this on the way out though. Sorry, shiny things. It goes like that. You know how it goes, something shiny. Ooh, look at that. Hey, Robert, that's got you written all over it. That's about right. Huh. That's about right. Yeah, try That's too big. Nope. Poor Willie's got to work for a living, you know? There we go. I'll have to bleep that one out. What your radio show is what day? Every Wednesday, one to two. Wednesday, one to two. KQLH, ninety-two point five. Wow, this is cool. You know, I was a DJ for many years, so I love the fact that you're doing radio. I used to spin records and this is live radio. Yeah. Live radio. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 This is great. That's awesome. Good for you. Congrats. For your wife, because she's got to have every one of them. All right, well, let's go finish walking this thing. Vaughn, again, brother. Good to see you. Love you, bro. Good talk. Take care. When, when are you going to be here again? And Tammy, good talking to you. Good to see you. This is a beautiful truck right here. Long bed truck, but beautiful. And uh, got the three wheel Harley. Rod Brunt. Beyond perfection. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's really beautiful. You know, it's like, is it a short bed? Yeah. It makes me want to do my cap two tone. See, that's the problem. When you see them done like that, you know, you can talk all the patina you want, but when you see it done like that, it's really hard to argue. Yeah. Beautiful. Here's you know more of the hooligans cars here. How's it going, gentlemen? What do we have here? Oh, well, hello. How are you? Good to see you. Doing good. We're on PCG. How's it going, Steve? I'm because of the, you know, the hand, you know, the handheld, yeah. uh, you know, got to do the Dano bump, right? So it's good to see you, Steve. <laughs> nice to see you. We're walking around. Dano was time. bumping fists before it was a thing. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Long before that, because it was faster as you go yeah. by. You could yeah, as you drive by, you know, yeah. hey, what's yeah. up? What's Tim up? Pull his arm out of the saddle box. Yep. The Dano bump. The Dano bump. Here's that blue Effie that's here all the time. 12 o'clock. Oh yeah. Shit. And then here's a uh, guy who's I forgot. This is the one. Um, who's this belong to? This is Ken's, right? I'm trying to yeah, think, but this is his daily. Yeah, it's a, it's a hooligan driver though. This is a daily. Yeah, no, it's a nice car. We got Patty the Packer here. That's featured in Packard Magazine. Wow, this car has come a long way, and so has the owner. It's just amazing. Here's this killer little Fox body. We're starting to see a lot of the regulars. Hey, you're here. What's up, Jeff? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. I heard you broke down on the way, you okay? Fuel pump, I guess. Oh, really? So you left it, or what'd you do? Oh, we got it loaded. Oh, okay. I bought the Cadillac. <laughs> Good for you. All right. See, I love that. That's yeah. what I love. Yep. Good for you. I'm glad you brought it. Where are you parked? Where are you parked? Uh, the Caddy's right down there. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll grab some shots. Headlights. Okay. See you later. Good to see you. Take care. I like this bug. I see your BC's bodyguard. Yeah. Uh, well, he makes sure I get an R to uh, R R17 rating, so he, he ensures that for me. Yeah. So yeah, but and we have fun walking together. And uh, this is Mr. Jeffrey Weiss, everybody on PCTV. He just retired as an executive chef for how many years? Twenty-seven and a half. And this man can put together a meal. Let me tell you. And everybody was invited to the party. And I missed it. I didn't even know there was a party. There was. I, I had no it, idea. Actually, I gave it. To, I gave you the flyer. And you were supposed to give it to Big Perm too. 
birth, it was a retirement flyer? I must have been when I got sick. I think you were still alive. Oh. <laughs> you gave it to me that week I got sick. That's it had to have happened because I'm surprised. I was like, wow, I felt bad that I missed it. Um, it was really a great time. My dog thing too. It, it was on the seat of my car and then it flew terrible. on the floor. And then I was cleaning out flyers because I had you know all these you know car show flyers. Yep. And I was like, oh God, I was that's supposed to put that. That's probably what happened. I was supposed to put it in the dude in the that's email. What, and it was like. I, I, and I think it was that week or something, and it was too late. I, I don't know. I dogged it, man. I, you know what I did? I probably had a whole stack of paper on the floor of my truck, and it was in there, and I threw it away. Because that's what happens. I'll get like 10 sheets of paper, and I'll just grab the whole pile and just chuck it. Yep. And you know what? I bet you that's what I did. He gave it to me. I get on. You're busy. You forget. And that's what I probably did. So remember what I was saying about pinstriping on bugs? I'm never 100% sure with my bug on pinstriping, but see here it works just on the front. But see, it, that's not, the only place they, I would do it. Yeah, because they always... A little bit, though, he's got a pull through here. Oh, okay. He pulled through on the emblem. See, I like this pull through on the emblem too. This is nice. But on my bug, I just don't know, man. I've never had any scratch work done on any bug I've ever owned. And all my you know, all my Chevys, all my little, Caddies, all of them I've always had. Think about okay. this. If you just a little had, floor to leave. If you just had a little thing here on each one, yeah. uh, it, it would work. But when Hey, this is a I new truck what, right here. I know what you're talking about. New truck. It's just got too many, it's just, that, it doesn't call for it. No, because they try to follow the curve of the hood and the... the the raised look line around the hood and it doesn't work. Oh my god, Robert, look at this. I mean, holy pull. This yeah. is beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Dude. Even Super. They, oh, I wish I had my other arm. I can't get my good wheel they, shots. How they flush mounted the stereo. Into I'm so the bummed. I can't get my yeah. normal pictures. I gotta get a I gotta get a better arm, but I'm not gonna spend nine hundred bucks. Unless you guys want to do a go fun for me. Oh, and speaking of which, you know my friend, that, that lovely little lady in the Philippines that takes care of her mom and her kids and everybody? She had a stroke, dude. She's in a wheelchair, and she's 57. She's taking care of her mother, children, everybody, and now she's in a wheelchair with a stroke. I don't, dude, if anybody deserves to go fund me in for the club to help somebody out, it's this lady. She's my friend Penelope in, in the Philippines, and she's the sweetest, nicest lady. And she's only 57. She just had a major stroke last weekend. And now, and she takes care of like six different people, and she's the only one who works for the whole family. And it's just like, you know, we that's something I would love. I wish the club could help or we could do it, go fund me for her, you know, just to help. Because she's such a sweet, wonderful person, I know. <laughs> I was just going through that yesterday when I was looking through my range. I go, damn it, I don't have a 17 or a 19 millimeter anywhere. All I got is 7.8s and, and 1360s. Um, this is, this is a beautiful little five window, sorry. And, I just and, got sad about, about my friend. It just kind of bothered me because I feel so bad for her. Because, you know, I talk to her all the time and she's a really sweet, you know, Christian lady. And, you know, she's just taking care of her family. And then I said, hey, I haven't heard from you. She goes, well, I had a stroke. And she showed me a picture of herself in a wheelchair. And I'm just like, oh my God. And, you know, the I just, on this, this is, is exceptional. This is as good as they get. Thank you for getting me off of that. But yeah, you're right. And Yeah, look at the paint working here, dude. And they, they held true. They, yes, put they, a, did. they put a Ford motor in it. Yep. And injected. And this beautiful bulkhead work. Nice tie-in on the compressor. You know, when they make the compressor natural, they make everything flow. The other thing, you know, I really like, no wiring. You know, there's oh. very, very yeah. wiring. If any, just for the electric fan is about all you see in the plug wires. Mm -hmm. You know, and other than that, you know, you really have to look for the, because this is all Hillborn injection, by the way. How much money they spent on this motor? This is Hillborn injection, uh -huh. dude. This is electric. Small this is origin. all EFI. So all the wiring in here, all the EFI wiring. Look at that, it's all EFI. There's 20 grand probably sitting right there. Just a hillboard injection on this motor. So I don't even want to know what the paint job is, okay? And then we go look at the wheels. Hot rod by Boyd. You know, HRBB, I mean, geez. Who even knew those, you know, that they were even that uh, junior? I don't know if it's junior or if Chris is making them. I don't know if it's, yeah, I don't know if it's yeah. Chris's or, 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 or Boyd Jr.'s company. It's probably Chris. Look at this thing, dude. Dashboard perfection, steering wheel, mahogany, or cherry wood. You know, um, actually, that's the same steering wheel I basically have in my bug. It's that fake, that's that fake rubber wood. It's weird. Anyway, he's got the roll down back window, no chop. That's what kind of makes this a little kind of interesting, you know, being for a yeah. 30 with no chop. Everything on it. But, you know, all the way around, it's got a lot going on. But, oh, my God, look at this second series from the back. I mean, this first series from the back, excuse me. 
Look at a nice roll pan work, the step side. Now this is getting me a little bit more excited about the step side on the 71. This gets me a little bit more excited. Uh oh, we've got an RT Charger Survivor coming by here. we got to run into this here. Let's get a shot of this guy right here coming by. That, my friends, is a real patina 68 Charger Survivor. Or is it a 69? I'm not sure, but... It might be a 69. But that's uh, Kale Darling's dream car. I know. That's mine, too. <laughs> It's one of my major bucket list cars. Yeah, nice SS Survivor. Them. I always uh, love I, I love those cars. I like them. I never love them. I love these. And I don't care what anybody says, but I really <laughs> want an SS 2017 Impala. Yeah. Holden. I don't know what my they're called. The Are they called a Griffin in, uh, in Australia? I'm not sure, but my buddy sold his ZL1 Camaro because he liked his Whipple supercharged SS more. Another 57 here. Small block original, did um, overload on 57. So here's the caddy, 65er. Yeah, a little bit of an overload on uh, on 57s for me today. Oh my gosh, it's the hemrod. Well, we got to go and look at the. We got to look at Chris and Kelly. I got to look at Chris and Kelly's Roadster. Talking about Hillborn injection. We just looked at that. Uh, five window coupe a second ago and here we go this is uh kelly and chris chapman's uh roadster they brought in this is full hillborn injection 427 all aluminum block they just had this built and they brought it out from havasu and they've been driving around for the last week or so and just tormenting me with this car freaking tormenting me hey man what's up good how you doing good to see you oh man this thing's beautiful this is a dearborn body it's been stretched uh six inches it's got a six inch stretch on it. It's a all steel Dearborn body. And they had this completely built from the ground up and it just got finished, um, I believe about a month ago. And they took delivery on a GT40 also, on a new GT. So, yep, this is their car. Those are the folks I was talking to at Azteca. Nice French work on the, uh, on the tails. Stance is very nice on this. Yeah, I've got my weird stick tonight so I can't get my normal shots that I get, guys, sorry. It is what it is. So here we go. So we're at the gate. And we've got security right here. There's security. And more. What we got there. There we have security. There we have the boss. So you run the gate, lady. You run the gate. All right. We got Cubbies. <laughs> Chevelle's here. All right. We lost Robert. There's that nice little Fairlane Ranchero. It was here last week, that white one. That one's pretty clean. And uh, he's running 351? I don't know if he's running 351 or maybe a Windsor or Cleveland. Nice little rock in there. All right. So we're getting toward the end of the show. Um, we're back here at uh, Hemrod. This is a good way to finish the show right here. We get uh, at award winning, at the award winning Hemrod, 392 Hemi. Rat Rod Extraordinaire. It's even got a train whistle on it. It's pretty cool. I'm almost out of battery. But yep, this is the Hemron. World's most expensive gas cap, if you're interested. Made out of motorcycle piston. Additive uh, and completely handmade gas cap. Uh, custom train whistle. And of course, rust and paint by uh, Nature. This is a, that Kaiser. That's that, uh, is this a show car with the, is this like the Pope mobile? Parade car. It's a parade car. I think it's for the Pope. <laughs> yeah, Mother Teresa. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, it was their. Oh God, it was their door style, but they also used it for their show car. This thing's crazy. Sorry. You got me all interested. Look at the grill on this thing. Now, if Edsel had made their grill look like this, you'd have a completely different ball game. And this is the Survivor car. This was a one-of-a-kind. This was a show car. I believe it was for the Autorama or Parade car. We don't know. Oh, it was a 51 Henry J. Wow. Well, like they said, it's a one-of-a-kinder. All right, guys. So that finishes up my big walk through here at Garden Grove. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And thank you for watching PCTV. If you get a chance to like and subscribe, I sure would appreciate it. And uh, let's get that drive to 1,000 done so we can go. Yeah, this is Scott's Bratros, isn't it?
Look at this. He's done a couple little things. He's been, oh, look at the Mustang work here. That's kind of custom. Oh, and dude, he's got a black line Dano live sticker. He's got the Super Trek Dano live sticker. Yeah, this is Scott, this is Scott's car. Yeah. Beautiful. You know, for a new Mustang, he just it's, it's beautiful. This is mm -hmm. it's a good looking car. Yeah, and then you it's got clean, the, it's nice. You, you can got appreciate Sammy, it. and then oh, look at all the scratch. Yeah, see, he had Johnny. I think Johnny did a lot of this work. Oh, I hate cigarettes. God, I hate cigarettes. Yeah. Oh, look at that. You want to know if your air cleaner's dirty or not? Well, just take a look. Yeah, that's cool. Yes, yeah, that's cool. All right, Robert took off to say hi to some folks. And you know what? Let's get the center here. And we didn't pick up a couple of beautiful pieces here. Here's another Series 1. Look at the chrome work on this guy. He's running like a 216 or maybe a 235 in here. So he's running old school, Gen 1. Earlier glass, 49. I don't know. I'm not very good with my years. He's got his Venetians in here. Very cool. Beautiful shifter. And what do we got rolling out? There goes the Ranchero. Another roll out here at uh, Garden Grove. Rick bought us dinner tonight. That was nice. Him. Okay, let's go back to this Series 1 here. Very nice on the uh, step plates. There's this bed wood. Very clean. Take around the back side here, get the tail lights. Ah, uh -huh, next to black. Very sweet. All right, so we'll come back around this side here. Music is still going. I think we're getting close to trophies here. I better get my other battery going. Oh, there's that crazy ass roaster. Yeah, you gotta wear a helmet for this. Look at this roaster here. You could have some nads, pulling gears, pushing pedals and pulling gears. Hey, hey, hey. Big Hampton Hillborn injection. Guys. This is just nanners. I mean, this is just nanners. Nice rat fink in the front here. Nice car, Bruce. Beautiful, 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 Bruce. Really exceptional. Now, here's a five window right next to it. Red, small block. Really, really nice. Exceptional again. You know, we've seen a lot of great stuff here. This is cart 13 in today. No markings on it. Nice interior. All right. Oh, Willie's Camaro. HB Willie, big sponsor here. So if you want your car done, you get down to Willie's. So let's work our way back over. There's Vaughn Hot Rod, who we saw earlier. Walking around the back here to Don Dorsey's uh, nice OBS pickup. Former uh, test mule, I believe, for uh, Paxton Blowers for their 4.3 line. He's done a bunch of work to it. And uh, done, uh, just a really, really nice job overall. Here's the interior. And here's his motor. You. I'm trying to put out halfway quality crap and you're banging me on the shoulder. So what am I supposed to do? I don't know, I can't talk. I have candy in my mouth. That's what they all say. They all that same all story got all of you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got Ron's van in the house. This is Canvas Meat Shop Evening. Also, Black Top Magazine's here, as you saw Tony. So, we're all here tonight. This is Canvas. Beautiful man. One of my all time favorite street bands. So correct. The Octopus is Garden. It's just a great, great, great band. And a longtime personal friend. Known each other for many, many years. And look at that, it's just 
Exceptional as always. I wonder if he restores this thing. You know, it was in a really bad accident and it was had a major rebuild. This thing was completely rebuilt, painted, and redone. It's just, it's a recreation of the van. And it's got my favorite taillights, the 74, 75. The swing over here, and what's this? Nova. Very sweet. All black. 66. TMI interior. Look at that. Oh, man. We're starting to lose light, but we'll go for a little while longer here. I'm also starting to lose battery. And I'm going to have to pick up my cord. All right. Really sweet. Come back around. Oh, this is... Really, this is 63 here. Really nice. My course, John Loisington. We got John in the house. I like this. Okay, John, we'll talk later. Hi, John. <laughs> Gasser 7. Oh, yeah, don't forget about We got this coming up. Gasser 7. Really? Yeah. Good event. John's car is a monster. Here's that beautiful 67 C10 blue. This thing's just a showstopper. Nice steppy. This makes me happier about my steppy every time I see it. So I'm going to have one of these pretty quick, so I better get my head around the whole step size thing. All right, let's get that interior now. Beautiful interior. It's going to be white on the other one we're doing right now, Robert and I are doing, with a red uh, red motif. This one's uh, blue and black, which I like a lot. All right, take a look across. So we got F100. We got a uh, Superstar today, like an 84. How's it going, Victor? Hello. How you doing? Good, good. I'm loving this. Car is great. She's a beauty. I think she's a 34. All the louver work. It's won a couple of uh, best in shows. Yeah, it's a 34. Suicide doors, chops. All the punch panels, all the work, banjo wheel, full custom dash. So there you go. I think we've really covered a lot of the cars uh, today here at uh, Garden Grove. And saved the best for last. So there you go, man. That's the goodness. Oops, that is the goodness that is uh, Garden Grove. And uh, we'll be back later for rollout and uh, awards. Everybody have a great night. This is PCTV. Oh, and uh, 